Chef Penny came in underestimating us, and so now it's on me to bring it home in round three. Chef Clues, time to decide what you'd like from the menu. <laughs> Sue me. Sue me. So please welcome Chef Cloyce's Sue, celebrity chef Jamie Lauren. Okay, chefs, you have one hour to create a meatball trio masterpiece. Okay, so tell me what you're thinking. So, like, bomby meatball. Yep. Uh, we're gonna do pork, ground beef, ground lamb. Now that I know that these kids are going to bring it, I better bring it. I understand it's a meatball trio, but I want him to have a full meal. So I'm thinking my meatballs are going to be inspired by breakfast, lunch, and dinner. All six meatballs being made, none of them are your classic Italian meatball. No love for the Italians today. No love for the Italians. What are you putting in that? Lemongrass, ginger, garlic, really stay with the bon me. That sounds good. Guys, what can I work on next for you? If you want to chop some jalapeno for me, nice and small. No problem. I form my ground chicken into meatballs with the onion, the salt, pepper, egg, breadcrumbs, the whole mixture. And down in the pan it goes. To make my Indian spiced meatball, I'm mixing together cayenne, cumin, coriander, and turmeric. So I want it to really hit Chef Mayhan with all these Indian flavors. One minute. Can you get the onion sauce? There's so much at stake. Being able to clean sweep Chef Penny, this is a big round for us. I think it looks. I think it's beautiful. 20 seconds. I'm totally frazzled, and my plate looks like my kids got in the kitchen with me and just threw a bunch of things on the plate. The first meatball that I bit into reminded me exactly of biting in a banh mi sandwich. But meatball's all about texture and flavor. This had the flavor, but it was a bit chunky and chewy. The Indian spice with the onion chutney was great. Meatloaf. <laughs> that one's hitting home with me. I love this dish. I like the mushrooms, I like the gravy, even the mashed potatoes. Please dig into the plate on your left. Wow. It's so important that I get some good feedback from Chef Mahan on my dish. Because we eat with our eyes first, presentation is more important than anything. Oh, boy. boy. Mm-hmm. This plate is, it's a lot for me. The first meatball wasn't as tender as the other ones. It was a really dense meatball. So it didn't have sort of fall apart effect you want in a meatball. What I liked about it was the spice kicked in, but then it just fell flat. Who is the winner of tonight's Man vs. Child? My favorite dish has to be this dish. Yeah!